The company behind the Peregrine Moon mission, that lunar lander, are looking at whatever plan Bs they can salvage from their spare scraft. We were talking about it yesterday, that flawless liftoff, and then shortly thereafter, critical malfunction. And Marianne, back... We should have said, stay tuned. I yes. thought we were talking about this in February. Here we are talking about it the next morning. They've now abandoned the plan to land. Yes, and you know, so many people, you know, you just hear the disappointment around the world. So many of us were watching this lift off with excitement. It was supposed to touch down on the Earth's, or rather the moon surface at the end of February, but now we know that is likely not going to happen now. They are abandoning this mission. It was supposed to be the first commercial lander to touch down on the moon's surface. And now uh, we're hearing about these uh, issues that it dealt with. There it was, it was on board that Vulcan rocket launching up into outer space. It successfully separated from the Vulcan as, as it continued its journey to the moon. And then there were some serious propulsion system issues. It wasn't able to properly angle itself towards the sun for energy. Then there was a bit of ray of hope. Engineers were able to regain control of the Peregrine lander, but then uh, now we're hearing of this critical fuel loss. So quite a disappointment for those who knew that if this was a success, it could potentially have been a game changer when it comes to these types of missions. It was carrying with it some tools for NASA, things to, uh, for uh, different experiments, but also, as we were talking about yesterday, Heather, some human remains as part of this space burial companies of some pretty interesting people, the remains of the original uh, creator of the Star Trek television show mm -hmm. as well as some of the cast members of that show. So what that means for them, uh, unfortunately, this Peregrine Lander not looking like it's going to make it to its final destination, which was supposed to be in February. Now, just over 24 hours just, later, we're talking about this. It's incredible. Whatever science they can glean, they're trying to, to pick up on those pieces mm -hmm. now. So that is a story we know about. We're also watching very closely as to what NASA is expected to be announcing. A revised timeline in its own Artemis moon missions. And when we talk about Artemis and the moon and NASA, we think of the Canadian astronaut Jeremy Hansen. What are we starting to hear? Yeah, Jeremy Hansen was supposed to be one of the astronauts, but the first Canadian astronaut to be heading to the moon that was supposed to happen November 2024, so just a few months away. Canadians were counting down to that, but now we're hearing that there will be a delay. It likely will not happen now before 2025. That's according to uh, some officials from NASA. We're expecting an update from NASA later today where they're going to update this timeline and really break down what is leading to this delay. But there are some technical issues they're dealing with. Some of those issues include some ground structure issues, also dealing with uh, some of the issues with the Orion heating uh, on that spacecraft. So they were supposed to head out, as I mentioned, just before the end of this year to orbit around the moon. So much excitement when Jeremy Hansen's name was released uh, just recently, talking about uh, him uh, being part of this team. Canadians were so excited about that. But Heather, it looks like we're going to have to wait a little bit longer for this now. Hmm. Not happening at least by the looks of it this year. We had the whole crew on this program before. It was just a, such an exciting moment, as you say, when he was announced. So the uh, number of media reports are that this is coming. We just don't have the official word, but they do expect to say something today. Is that we right? We are expecting some kind of update from NASA today. The specifics were not quite clear, but that's definitely what's being reported, uh, that we are standing by for some kind of update today. Okay, we'll be on that for sure. Thank you, Marianne. Really appreciate it. Marianne Demain here in studio.